Welcome to Colonial Williamsburg. Nicknamed the United States' largest living history museum, Williamsburg, Georgetown, and Yorktown make up the iconic Virginia's Historical Triangle. It's a history geek's Disneyland. Colonial architecture, spooky ghost tours, museums, and adventure parks. Spread across 301 acres, Williamsburg has something for everyone. This immersive town is a Georgian architectural marvel. Williamsburg feels like a leap through time, with interpreters dressed in colonial clothes ready to greet and help you. Explore the city streets for free, where life goes on like it did in the 18th century. Are you excited to plan your trip? You don't want to miss out on the most exciting attractions. You're in the right place if you're confused about where to start. Don't worry, we've got your back. We'll help you plan your Williamsburg itinerary. This video will discuss some of the best things you can do on your trip to Williamsburg, Virginia. Here are the top 10 things you can't miss for an immersive colonial age experience. Before we continue, hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on exciting videos like this. Number 10. DeWitt Wallace Decorative Arts Museums Opened in 1985, the DeWitt Wallace Museum is a treasure trove of artifacts dating back to the 17th century. With a collection of over 70,000 antique British and American relics from colonial times, you must come prepared for a magical journey through the past. The magnificent Mind to Masterpiece Silver exhibit features over 150 pieces of finely crafted silverware. The classic furniture collection features pieces from 1680 to 1830. Experience colonial fashion in the Wilkinson Gallery, featuring costumes, sculptures, and dollhouses. A fan favorite is the splendid Long Island Dollhouse. Do you prefer a show instead? Hear tales from America's colonial past and join in the spirit of revolution from the halls of DeWitt Wallace. 18th century runway shows, history lectures, and much more await you at the Hennage Auditorium. A day at the DeWitt Wallace Decorative Arts Museum will take you on a trip through time. Number 9. The Musket Range Wondering how the American Revolutionary War went down? Want more perspective on how wars were fought in the 18th century? The Musket Range is the ideal spot for a thrilling 1776 Colonial Williamsburg experience. Learn about the iconic weapons from the Revolutionary War. Watch interpreters come clad in uniforms demonstrating muskets and other firearms. Fire rounds with weapons inspired by 18th century flintlock firearms and feel the high spirit of revolution for yourself. Pistols, cavalry carbines, blunderbusses, French muskets, and the legendary American long rifle. Get your adrenaline pumping with an hour-long shooting experience with a musket, but be aware you must bring your ID and be over 14 years old. If you're between 14 and 17, you won't be allowed in the range without a legal guardian. You can also bring a partner, but they have to be older than 12. The range is open all year round, but depending on the weather conditions, they close for rain, winds, lightning, and thunderstorms. Number 8. The Kimball Theater Located right next to Williamsburg is the Merchant Square, home to more than 40 restaurants and shops. Sitting in the busy square is the historical Kimball Theater. Live shows or movie screenings, Kimball Theater has an electric mix of both. Enjoy the orchestral talents of the College of William and Mary students all dressed in traditional colonial attire. Don't be surprised if you see Patrick Henry around the corner. It's just the interpreter. It's his job to make the experience more realistic. Catch the grand medley of entertainment from the 18th century or serenade yourself with soulful jazz. Whatever your tastes are, the Kimball Theater is at the heart of all Williamsburg community activities. Enjoy the best theatrical experience of your life. Number seven, Williamsburg Winery. Ready for an unforgettable wine and culinary escape? Visit the Williamsburg Winery, practicing the art of winemaking since 1985. The now 320-acre complex comprises a vineyard, tasting rooms, a retail shop, restaurants, and an inn. The 18th century Wedmore Place Inn has 28 rooms, each is designed to mimic a European province. With traditional furniture, paintings, and artifacts to match, get transported to life in the 18th century if you're lucky enough to spend a night here. Enjoy extensive tours, 
reserve wine tasting, a fine dining experience, and a night at an inn in the Williamsburg Winery. Number six, Wythe House. Constructed in the 1750s, Wythe House was home to George Wythe, a decorated judge, scholar, and academic. What was once a founding father's home today is a national historical landmark. A building that played a pivotal role in the American Revolution, White House was the hotspot of many meetings and discussions that led to the foundation of the United States of America. Visit this marvel of Georgian architecture with an elegant interior and red brick exterior. With period furniture and well-preserved rooms, White House provides a glimpse into George Weiss' life. Walk across the property's gardens and marvel at the region's horticulture. Interact with the interpreters to know more about the town. They'll be doing the jobs they love and enjoying their lifestyles. All of them contribute to the community in the best way possible. Number five, the Governor's Palace. Williamsburg was once the capital of Virginia. The Governor's Palace is one of the most visited tourist attractions because of its historical influence. Adorned with marvelous artwork, splendid ornaments, and period-appropriate furnishing, the Governor's Palace is an experience. The residence of Governors Lord Dunmore and Sir William Gooch now hosts lectures and educational programs and seminars. Almost all are related to American and colonial history. The palace boasts vibrant gardens, including the Privy Gardens and the Palace Gardens. They're meticulously maintained and offer an accurate glance into 18th century horticulture. The Georgian architecture of the palace reflected the authority and power of the British crown. One interesting theory about the palace is that it's haunted. But whether that's a fact or not, we don't know. Number four, spooky ghost tours. Williamsburg regularly hosts unconventional spooky tours. If you're intrigued by the unseen, join in on the spooky fun at the Williamsburg Spooky Tours. They offer a variety of tours, like haunted house tours, walking tours, and carriage tours. They visit historic locations, like the White House, the Public Goal, and the Peyton Randolph House. Tour guides will spin creepy tales that keep you up at night. You'll hear all about urban legends and famous ghost encounters. Some of them are also interactive. The most attractive parts are partaking in paranormal investigations and using ghost hunting gear. Get the spookiest experience of your lifetime at Williamsburg. Are you a skeptic or a believer? Share your thoughts and comments. We look forward to hearing from you. Number three, Bush Gardens and water country. This section is for the little ones. If you're taking a family vacation to Williamsburg, visit the Bush Gardens and Water Country amusement parks. The Bush Gardens expand over 380 acres of land. It has everything from roller coasters to live shows and water rides. With a variety of food and dining options to annual events, everything is hosted at Bush Gardens. The Water Country Water Park is right next to it. It covers 43 acres of land and has many water rides. The Vanish Point, Aquazoid, and Colossal Curl are only a few of these exciting attractions. Number two, the public goal, the jail. Political prisoners, thieves, runaways, and debtors have all inhabited the public goal at some point. One of the oldest penal institutions in the United States, the Williamsburg Public Goal, or jail, was constructed in 1704. The building is designed according to the Georgian architecture. It's a brick building with many cells and quarters for jailers and their families. The dungeon is one of its most notorious locations, built as a dark and dismal place. In the revolutionary era, the public goal was used to snub the revolution, imprisoning political prisoners and common criminals alike. The jail also very famously performed executions and hangings. And number one, the courthouse. Surprisingly, the courthouse is one of the most delightful places to be in modern times. It's a live historical museum. In the colonial period, however, the Williamsburg courthouse played a central part in the colonial government and justice. This Georgian marvel was constructed between 1770 and 1771. It was made on a common, or green area. Community gatherings and meetings all happened here. Today, you can enjoy live reenactments of colonial court cases. You can even be a part of the performance. Who knows, you might even send someone to the public goal. The courthouse also served as a place of public gatherings. 
people would gather to resolve critical issues here. So now that you know all the fun that awaits you in Williamsburg, when are you planning your trip? Do you know of any historical attractions we've missed? Comment your favorite attractions below. Before we end this video, thank you for watching. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel.